Okay, so the other servant that uh, I'm talking about today is William Tell. Oh wait, no, this video is gonna come out first. Sorry, I just recorded Arjuna because uh, he deserves video. Um, we're talking about William Tell today. Uh, and is he worth leveling? Is he modern? Did he need a buff? Let's talk about it. Kristoff, Zach, HP, three star. Uh, I think this is average though for three star, so he's at least off to a good start. Yeah, I'm with it because I know five star, four stars that have eight thousand, so that is probably not the highest, but it is decent. Uh, MP charge 0.6, uh, 0.66. So good considering he has three hits on the Zars card. I think it's okay. Would have liked a little more, but I'm not gonna play. Uh, triple hits on every card, five hit extra. And yeah, so upstairs, basic, but looks good. Also, I like how he, like, I think this is my favorite deception mod. First skill, seal enemies skills for one turn. Uh, this goes up to 100%, and then a 30 star bomb. Uh, I would say this is like this effect by itself it was weak, but like a 30 star bomb is like really nice, considering like his skills. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Like, it, it has terrible uptime, but it's a utility skill. It's not it's not affecting damage, so it's fine. Could be better, but... Oh. Second skill, three turns of 30% parts, along with th uh, three turns of debuff immunity. Full debuff immunity can only uh, be stripped with buff, uh, buff removal, so... Like the average already is like six turns, so like this is just better than average skill. And it is again challenge quests, uh, very helpful because a lot of bosses like throw debuffs at you. Um, bring out the towel to flex on a boss. You should probably save her. Ah, uh, third skill, star weight and crit damage. One thousand star weight on Archer is. That's, that is very good. Um, probably gonna get like all the stars unless he's like on the field with like Lancelot or yeah, unless he's on the field with like Lancelot. Crit damage, uh, 100% for that one turn, which he dropped 30 stars. If he has three cards on the field, you're guaranteed a full crit uh, break change. At 100% crit damage. This is on five turn. His his this uh his big step. Uh, sorry, I cannot English right now. Uh, these two skills together are like very bad of time, but when you're, the highs are good, highs are good. Uh, ideally though, you'll want to do it on a hard score turn because then they really really slap. But uh, ideally, it would be for a brave chain. Ideally, it would be for a brave chain. Hopefully, have it. at least one hard card. If it's Buster Buster quick, at least you're gonna do a lot of damage. But it would be better if there was like if it was a BAQ chain. Crit resistance and already has crit damage in its kit, so good. Damage against assassins. I can't remember off the top of my head why I would have that uh, extra attack. You'll get these up eventually, so it doesn't really matter. Then MP, ignores evasion, and then it deals even more damage if they have a dodge. Unfortunately, a lot of, uh, uh actually, So Deer Mood, Deer Mood, I know, would have a... Uh... Yeah, actually, let's uh, go over this real quick. Oh, same. 
Which of these servants have dodges? I don't think Saber. Okay, so Okida. Okida, I know, has a dodge. skill don't you no no uh, no okay so yagyu yes yagyu has it i know that for a fact leader has the guts dear mood uh benny emma Lakshmi, I think, is invincibility, not dodge. Astolfo, I think, yeah, I know is a dodge. I know. So, yeah, so just like going through these, there are a good number of sabers that have dodges, and there are a bunch of berserkers as well that actually have dodges, like Herc. Herc is like biggest example of berserkers with dodge along with Raiko. So, like, like when I think dodges, I think coup, but like a lot of other characters have dodges. So like this is yeah like if people have dodges that are not uh unremovable uh he can put in a whole lot of damage let's go here i'm i'm just double um double checking chat william tell Five. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, very hard. He's free MP5 to begin with. So, against anyone with a dodge, he is the hardest hitting archer. Yes, he is the hardest hitting archer. Except for Orion on male damage. So his niche isn't that hard to proc. He's hitting harder than five stars. And this is with level 70 like calcs put in mind. So if you like if you aren't about like railing like five stars, like you want to bring your lower rarity, rarity servants up so they can you can actually bring them to do stuff. It wouldn't be a terrible thing to like try to get him his damage up higher. Like level 100 would bring it close to a four stars, uh, like level 80 stats. Which is that's a big jump. That's almost like what, that's 2600 attack, and then you add in like all like that's a full full on attack C. And he just added on to him. And if you wanted to grail him to like really really good, like he's not a terrible option. Like the level 120 was meant for low rarity servants, not five stars. Like it was designed to bring them up higher. And then but big numbers is big numbers. Uh but he is like definitely the only complaint is definitely his at least this for looping his MP is like really good. Um, and you just get like crit turns. Any kind of cooldown reduction makes him better. So Tomomo, uh, Lady Merlin works really, really well. Uh, obviously Castoria. But yeah, he is worth, he is definitely worth leveling. A and I would even say investing too. Because like he, he, if you plan on like raising a low rarity servant high, Besides, like, Ching Gong for farming. William Tell is, like, up there. He's not bad. They're way worse, uh, low rarity servants. Like, the ones that are came out after, like, the Lost Belts are pretty okay. They're not, um, Sebron's not terrible. Uh, and Ryder Lubu is, like, Lubu. Like, what more could you ask for? 
right. I'm gonna go. I will see you guys later. Peace.